her mouthpieceless horn. Blow on it, because, you know, reasons. Another horn and another missing teeth. Yep. And I just gotta blow on everything that I come across. Don't take that the wrong way. Today, to the front of the stage, please. Night editions, now today! Now that we have covered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Aww. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> in the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask. What were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? The missing bridges? Oh yeah, also the date change. I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm -hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. Hey. Now, hey. Go mingle with the other contestants. Bye There's also the thing about the missing bridge. For the chivalry test. Come and see me. All right, let's see what we can find out about Chivalry Test. Hey, Graham, we were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Sir Loin of Roast Beefington. Sir Ten of himself. Sir Ver of Arrows. Um, good things. Uh, let's hear about Sir Loin of Beefington. What can you tell me about Roast Sir Beefington. Loin of Roast Beefington? I can tell you that sounds like a pony name. Who's giving you this false information? Did you just make that up? Go and introduce yourself to everyone. Then, come see me for the dirt. Okay. Oh, good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. Ah, Chaka. What type so, of arrows do you use? What type of arrows do you fly with? Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. So, where are you from? So, where do you hail from? Achaka. Achaka. I see. Sounds, Sounds exotic. exotic. Want to partner up? up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. <laughs> Well, oh, see you around. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Hey there, I'm Graham. Sure, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you just Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Because it's, it's behind a mask? It's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Every woman's Every dream. Woman's dream. And you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... You are... You're the dirt who pushed me into the river. Pushed me into the river. Oh yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> All right, he's a jerk. What you need, Gail, is an upgrade, <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're. Your Sir, Sir Ten Ten of himself. <laughs> she, 
Cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Gonna have to wait. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. And stop getting my name wrong, jerk. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really? <coughs> gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. I'm Graham. I'm Graham. Graham. Cr no. No last name. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference. But I am currently in the process of rebranding myself. Starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn. What were you what hiding in your hand? You were hiding in your paws. Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, Seriously what's what are you hiding? hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. I'll leave, leave you alone. Go away. Circumference. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Uh, nope. Now, Give me a little more time to mingle. A little more time to mingle. All right, I have to speak with him, huh? All right, let's learn about the uh, circumference. Acorn. What can you tell me about Acorn? <coughs> I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. Oh, I bet I'm going to have to use, uh, oh, I don't know, some sort of acorn to work that squirrel out. <laughs> what can you tell me about a chaka? A chaka? A chaka. A chaka. You should a chaka. Any opponent quiver. <laughs> You've got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. Sir Tenevinsel? What can you tell me about Sir Tenevinsel? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly buns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good, good thanks. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. So, I gotta find out who Sir Ten of himself yes. is. I could feel the... Yes? Have you remembered my name? <laughs> I'm going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. And you can even remember my name, jerk. Hey, do you guys know that guy's back name? It up, back it up. All right, I guess I can't get that information from him. Oh, do 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 do. Yep, he's got a squirrel in there. Well, let's give him Perhaps the entrance ticket. my entrance ticket will let me bypass this chivalry test? It's not yet the time for entrance tickets. Alright, good bad You only need some money. I need the list, though. I need the list. Let me see the list. Err. How do I find out his name? A chucka. What do you want? I found I out what you're hiding. Heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. 
What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. This ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Yes, I have a friend like that. Does your squirrel have a name? Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Make Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think okay. you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. Maybe his belly is like my cape. He, he hides stuff in there. All right, Sir Whisper. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Yes, Sir Poser. Whisper. Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter. Harris, Ignatius, Ignatius Sally, Sally, Percival, Eduardo, Ramon, Ramon Jr., the third. the third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Yes, he is uh, certainly uh, Modest. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper Whisper. Okay, he's creepy. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Very shiny. Good day, Whisper. Okay, Whisper is. Yeah. Whisper. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Whisper. What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? <coughs> <laughs> his feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. Shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrigan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Yep. I'm good, thanks. thanks Let's talk to Bye. Achaka. Achaka. Yeah, I can't get any more out of him. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Alright, let's talk to Whisper. For me, they love me, and you love you too. Alrighty, I'm ready, ready for the jewelry test. test. Let's do it. Let's do it. Question one: Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? I'd guess Manny. Manny, we're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. That would have to be a Chaka. A Chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Oh God. Sir Walter Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the Third of Modesto. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the Third of Modesto. I'm sure. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Princess Avalon. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Yes, I did. Good job, Pockets. Mm -hmm. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show.